Hello. Um, so today we are in my kitchen because I'm cooking. I've been cooking a lot recently. So I thought I'd make a video about it because I have nothing else to do. And I'm home alone, so um I have my headphones on because I'm listening to some music on my but Today I am making avocado, I don't know what it's called, because what I do is, so I go on Pinterest, right, and I look at a photo that's really cute, you know, something that sounds good, and I just go off of the picture. So the picture says, I'm making an avocado dip thing. I make my own. I don't follow the instructions. I don't follow anything because, like, they have like like green onion and, and some other stuff that I don't have here. So I'm gonna get discouraged. So I'm gonna just be like, that picture looks cute. I have a tortilla. I have chicken, and I have avocado. How I season it is up to me. So, uh, yeah. So it's an avocado chicken shredded chicken avocado wrap there you go that's that's how it should be called so right now i am defrosting the chicken um and i have the avocado back there the thing is see i love cooking but i hate touching food i mean not food touching meat because it's gross and slimy and, and just bleh. but yeah so i have chicken I would have wanted chicken breast but I have chicken legs and stuff so I'm gonna do what I what I got okay so I'm gonna show you real quick my chicken defrosting so this is my chicken defrosting um I still need to take the skin off of some of them like I need to take off that part and I already took off the skin of one of them so yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. And then, I'm going to work on the avocados while these, well, these cook. So, be right back. Okay, so I completely forgot that I was recording. And I've done a couple things. And I'm going to show you what I did. So, here we have um, red onions, green pepper, and one chopped up chopped up garlic clove and then over here i took off all the skin to the, of the kitchen the, of the kitchen of the chicken and put it in warm water with um vinegar to you know clean it and now i'm going to well oops, i'm going to finish cleaning the chicken and seasoning it so i'm gonna actually record that process since i didn't record the other ones so um so you rinse out the water and then um we're gonna get some seasoning let me show you what i have in my pantry okay so in my pantry well it's not actually pantry it's the top cabinet um, I'm going to use adobo, um, the all-purpose seasoning, and then I'm going to use, um, this thing, um, this one, um, it's called the Sazon Goya. <laughs> So it's the little red packets. Is these little red packets that I'm only going to use one, but I can't exactly, you know, rip the other one off without two hands. See, see, see. I almost made a mess. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna use that one. Whatever. I'm gonna use that one. And then. Mm, I don't know what else to use. 
and then I'm oh that's soy sauce by the way um yeah this is supposed to be soy sauce and then what was that back there oh hmm well, this is adobo just light um but yeah I think I think that's all I'm gonna use for now if I use anything else I'll let you guys know and no I do not use salt or pepper because these things already contain salt and pepper like this is seasoning all in one right 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 ingredients see look salt um and then a bunch of other things that I don't know how to translate so yes and then, is there anything else in here that I could use? Nope. Ooh, maybe maybe a little bit of oregano. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use to season my meat. So give me a sec while I okay, So basically all I did was open all of them so that it was easy to pour. But yeah, so I use one entire little bag of this. Oh, I almost completely missed watching my phone. And then I use a lot of these. I don't know. I kind of eyeball it. I never measure anything. This is kind of like maybe mm, you want to use enough so that the the sides like this top layer and then if you flip it the bottom layer is covered basically with a very thin like coat because actually yeah i'm gonna flip it hold on let me get something to flip with Ugh. okay so mix it real quick so this thing you want to make sure that it touches everything even though i like dropped it on only one chicken it's okay, it's gonna get mixed in with all the rest. Uh, so yeah, so see, I moved it, and then I flip it so that I can put some adobo on the other side, and it's like a thin layer on that, and that should be enough. This is for all you people that only season with salt and pepper. No, 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 you gotta put more stuff in there. So, and then the last thing I'm going to put is oregano. This you don't want to put a lot of because then, because it is very strong. So, ooh, it's not opening. Okay, there, let's open. You don't want to put a lot, but you do want to put enough, you know, to give it flavor. there and i'm not gonna put garlic because the garlic is on gonna be in the avocado so you know we gotta balance it out if you put too much garlic on both of them it's not gonna be balanced well so yeah just continue mixing until you feel it's properly covered and this water you don't want to throw out this water you want to keep the water so that you know it's it's still being seasoned while it's cooking you know you know you know gotta get give you the trick of the trade the spanish cooking tricks i don't like i don't mind touching the meat it's just that with the red with the red seasoning thingy packet it stains your finger and i'm dying you see how my, how cute my nails are? I don't feel like staining my fingers. So, so, I'll season with a spoon. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. So, then we're going to leave that there to absorb the flavor. It's only going to be for a little bit because I forgot to put on the pan. So, I'm going to put everything away and then we'll be back. Oh, he's a ghost. There's a ghost in my house. No, I'm kidding. Um, okay, so I'm going to put everything away and then I'm going to put the pan with just like a teeny bit of oil so that it could cook properly. And then, yeah, and then I'll show you that. So, bear back. 
All right, so I cleaned up and now I'm gonna get the olive oil because I cook with olive oil because it's a healthier option. And well, we all about being healthy here. Well, we're trying to be healthier. So yeah, so you only gonna, whoa, almost dropped it. You want to only put like, I'd say, Mm, hold on. I don't know the measurement because I don't measure anything. So I'd say about one, less than one ounce of olive oil. Like, honestly, anything smaller than an ounce should be good. So yeah, so, um, give me a sec. This is a horrible angle, but yeah. Okay. I just don't want to make a mess. Um, but yeah, so... So you want to put enough to cover like a little more. There, that should be enough. Yeah, okay. And then just so that the chicken doesn't stick. I like to put a little just like, I know, like, some of you might look at this and be like, oh, that's too much. I like to put a little more because I like to fry my chicken while it's cooking. So, yeah, so this is, oh. Oh, no, my That was about to fall into my chicken. So, this is the brand of olive oil that we use. Premium blend sunflower, uh, sunflower oil and extra virgin olive oil. So yes, this is what we use. We do have corn oil, so that's when we really want to fry something, and I really don't want to fry something. Um, so I'm gonna put it at medium hit heat for now, so the oil can heat up, and then yeah. So I don't want to start working on the avocado. Ooh. I don't want to start working on the avocado now because like avocado gets brown pretty quickly so i want to be able to put the avocado and then put it in the wrap and then it'll be good but everybody gets home at like six seven ish and it's currently not even four so so normally i just like to pour it in but i'm terrified so i'm not gonna do that Ooh. Ah! Give me so a i did make a bit of a mess as you can tell, because it's splashed in a little bit, but I'll clean that up. Um, so yeah, the chicken is in there. It's sizzling. It's good. So yeah, so we're just gonna let that cook. I might add some water, but if you're gonna add water, what you wanna do is add it to the same, you know, thing that you were seasoning it in because that way the flavor you're picking up all the flavor that was left behind you know so yeah i'm gonna add some more don't add too much because then oh you didn't even watch me add in but yeah i added some in so that it it's good okay we're just gonna leave it like that for a little bit till it's cooked properly Still at, it's still that mid thing. I might actually raise it just a little. So, okay, so. There. My, this thing is broken, so it wobbles. But it's at, it's at about ugh, eight. See, it's at, it's at eight. It's at medium high flame. So yeah, that's my chicken. And then, all you're gonna see is chicken for now. So yeah, 
I'll be back. Okay, oh my god, I'm so hungry. I keep forgetting that I have to record. So what I'm doing now is I'm cooking the tortillas to make them soft enough to fold. And then here I have the avocado. I just took one of these big ones, cut it in half and, you know, scooped it out, you know. So now, whoa. I'm gonna mash it up. So I'm gonna add some salt. I'm gonna add some salt. I just scared my dog. Don't take it. Ah, Tubby. Say hi, Tubby. No, it's not food. Say hi, look. He thinks it's food, but it's not food. Okay. So. I'm gonna put you in my cupboard. <laughs> oh, there. Okay. So I'm adding some some Casa de Olivia. Why am I saying it with a oh, like a white accent? Sorry, I was flipping the tortilla. It got a little burnt, but it's okay. I'm gonna actually lower the flame. So, oh. so, casa de, oh, it's French. Anyways, so Himalayan pink salt uh, with ginger. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm just gonna. Not add too much because then it's gonna be too salty and we don't want that. But, yeah. Oh, maybe this isn't a good thing to use to mash. Maybe a fork is better. Because that's too big. Oh. I need a bigger bowl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This would be a terrible ASMR video. Hold on. Oh, that's too big. Okay, whatever. I'll put it in here. Tortilla out. Add a new one. So yeah, that's the, I'm just going to be flipping the tortillas and mashing the, the avocados. So little update <laughs> now I'm adding a lemon to the avocado um, they're not completely mashed up but I think that adding the lemon will help yeah it will help it um, I don't know become softer because it, it, it was a little green yeah it was a little green so I'm hoping that the lemon is going to soften it up. But not only that, I hope that it will um, preserve the avocado so it doesn't become brown. Because I didn't want it to become... I didn't want to cook it earlier because I didn't want it to become brown. I'm talking fast. I'm sorry. I can't do, th I, I can't do two things at the same time. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to finish mashing the avocados and I'll update you when I've made more progress. Okay, so now I'm adding in, well, I've already added some, but I'm adding in the um, minced vegetables, I guess. They would be called, I'm adding in the onions, the green pepper, and the garlic. I, I chose to cut up the garlic instead of mashing the garlic, but you could do either. Um, I just did it because I was lazy. <laughs> um, but hey, apparently great things happen in the kitchen when you're lazy, because that's what happened when I made some previous foods. Uh... So yeah, 
so I just added the rest of them. My avocado is pretty mashed up. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. I'm just you know, mixing them around and every time I see like a really big piece, I'm mashing it. Oh, what's that? The avocado was still a little green, but it's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, I got that. My nose was itchy. Okay, I'm gonna taste a little bit of it with my coconut made pork. Hmm. Needs a little more salt. Yeah, just add the amount of salt that you want. I like my guacamole. You're basically making guacamole. I just made guacamole from scratch. You know, because I don't know how to make guacamole. Oh yeah, I, I don't know how to make guacamole, so. This is a little funky, like, it's fine. Um... Tastes like <laughs> I was flipping the tortilla. I'm letting them get like a little bubbly so that you know they can be folded. But yeah, okay. Taste test number two. Make sure to clean your fork. Number two. Okay. Okay. A lot better. You could still taste the avocado, which is good. But I'm gonna still add a little, a little, a little salt. Um, don't worry, I'm not adding a lot of salt because this is a salt grinder so it doesn't drop a lot here. This is what one full turn causes. It's like not that much. So yeah, I just, and it's um, Himalayan salt, which is better than processed salt. So it's okay. I like cooking with lemon because everything tastes better with a lemon taste. So, third taste. And then. Oh, that was all onion. Ugh. Okay, now it's good. No. So, yeah. So now, I'm just going to be flipping tortillas because I'm going to make the tortillas. So, bye. Hey, so I finished making the food and completely forgot to um, show you the end result. But I made sure to take a picture, so I'll put it or we'll put it somewhere in the video. It was great, tasted great. If you want to try this out, make sure to tag us, tag us on Instagram, and we'll see you. Oh, subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.